Good day there. I just bought this cheap sonar rangefinder off of Alibaba, and in this video I want to find out if I got scammed, or if I can actually use it for something. To power it, I will use an ESP32 Arduino board, since this will let me transfer the data wirelessly. Getting started, I slotted the ESP32 into a dev board, just so I could wire it up quickly and see if it was even functioning. The first two wires are pretty self-explanatory, with the red wire going to VIN and the black wire going to ground. This is since I'll be using the 5V supply and not the 3V supply on the other side. Next up I'll be hooking up the data wires, with the white wire going into D18 and the yellow wire going into D5. I'll either end up chucking the code in the description or a pinned comment for anyone who's curious. To test it, I filled a container with water and gave it a measure to see what value to compare to. Here it looks like the water line is approximately 180 millimeters. Giving the sensor a quick dip, it turns out that it's actually functioning and we can see that it's fairly accurate with a value hovering around 180 millimeters. What I do like about the sensor in particular is that the blind zone, the minimum distance that it can detect, seems to be quite small which is nice for shallower waters. The initial idea I had in mind for the sensor was to use it as sort of a sonar buoy, casting it out into different bodies of water, letting me be able to map out the depth. The sensor does seem to have a silicone gasket, which should allow me to tighten down the sensor to the bottom of the container and hopefully keep the water out. But before adding any electronics inside, I went ahead and gave the container a quick test dip to see if the water stayed out. Finally I drilled a hole in the side, just so I could have a place to attach my line to. And before taking it outside, I'll go ahead and give it one last test dip, and as we can see the unit seems to be functioning as intended. For reference values to compare to, I used a fish finder, casting it out, and measuring the depths at various distances, and these are the values that I'll compare to once I start testing the sonar unit. We can see that the depth here ranges from around 0.5 meters to around 1.7, 1.6 meters, and these are the values that I'll be looking out for. Giving the device its first dip, it appears to be functioning just fine in the shallow waters, getting right around the 0 0.5, 0 0.6 meters that we expected. However, casting it out into deeper waters, we see that the sensor has a hard time picking up echoes, with the measurements being quite sporadic. However, once the sensor reaches shallower waters, it seems to have no issue picking up the echo, and thus the distance data. I did however play around with it, giving it multiple casts over and over just to see how the sensor performed, and the theme seemed to be quite consistent with the deeper waters giving sporadic measurements, and the shallower waters being quite consistent. Although the sensor claimed to be able to read depths as deep as 10 meters, outdoors it seems to be only consistent around depths less than 1 meter. I did take it into shallow water to hold it at a really steep off angle to see if maybe the uneven floating is the issue, not pointing it straight down but it was still able to read distances. I also tried moving it around against the current to see if perhaps water flow was somehow messing it up, but in both cases they were fine under one meter. Unfortunately, I did end up casting it into a rock, which cracked the container and ended testing for the day. However, we were still able to give the sensor a quick test and see that it was indeed functioning, although the depth was quite limited to less than one meter. I suspect that the outdoor body of water had an uneven soft bottom that probably gave weaker returns than the sensor was made for, but I still had fun. And with that said, thanks for watching.